Hello everyone. Today we will introduce you to Simplicity Alarm Custom Attributes, first introduced in the Simplicity 2023 release. For a given Simplicity Point Alarm, you have the ability to specify up to 10 custom attributes. A custom attribute is just a piece of metadata that you can associate with an alarm and put whatever value you want in that attribute, as well as the ability to specify comma separated sets of values, which comes in useful, I'll show you, when you do filtering and alarm setups. So to demonstrate, you'll see in this point that we have a number of attributes set uh, one for the department area, in which case this one's HVAC, as well as attribute two for different areas of the plant. In point two, we have the, uh, an electrical alarm. Point three, we have both an alarm that applies to both mechanical and plumbing departments. And finally, in point four, we have a, just a plumbing alarm. Now I've set those first four points into actual alarm states, as you can see in the point control panel. Now, if I go to my screen that I'm developing and I look at the attributes of my alarm viewer, you'll see that those custom alarm attributes are now part of what you can configure to show up as columns in the alarm viewer. So, for any given custom attribute, you can give it a name and you can specify where it lives in terms of the column order or the row order. And this will give your operators much more uh, context for the alarms they're looking at. You can sort by different custom attributes as well as um, specify different locations for them based on the static or dynamic mode of the alarm viewer. So let's go ahead and run this screen and you'll see that we have those points in alarm and you can see it's displaying their custom attributes in the department column. If I switch over to dynamic mode, dynamic mode has much more uh, columns displayed in different rows. You can see the plumbing, mechanical plumbing, mechanical electrical, as well as the area column over here. Again, all based on how you've configured your alarm viewer to show those custom attributes. Now let me introduce you to a, the alarm setup enhancements we've made to work with those uh, custom alarm attributes. Here's an example a, of an alarm filter that uses a new setting called all in set which essentially says for any values of point alarms that have attribute one containing both mechanical and plumbing, I want to see just those alarms and no others. So if I go apply that setup now, the mechanical and plumbing and load it, you'll see that only one of those alarms had both mechanical and plumbing. Now let's go back and create another setup that will only show uh, will show any alarms that are in either electrical or HVAC areas. So we're going to create a new one that says HVAC or electrical. And we'll specify that user. So now again, in the custom alarm attributes, you can specify different types of filters and I showed you all in set. Now we're going to show you any in set. So we said that this one would be if any alarm is in either HVAC or electrical, then I want those ones to show up. So switching back to our alarm viewer, I want to toggle my setup filter to use the new HVAC or electrical 
And now you'll see that all the alarms with electrical in them or HVAC in them will show up. Finally, within these filter sets for all the different um, attributes, the attribute one will be added with attribute two. So if I wanted to add an additional filter that said show um, any in set at, for attribute two, and I wanted to show just the areas in area are the alarms in area one that also had an HVAC or electrical, I could do that, in which case I would now go run the setup again. And you'll see that it filtered out any that were not in area one. So you can see these both were in area one. So not only do you get a lot more of information that you can associate with an alarm, you can also filter very powerfully against those custom attributes. Enjoy.